what is QNH? The acronym QNH doesn't actually stand for anything, although many people like to associate a mnemonic with the letters such as Query Nautical Height, in order to distinguish its meaning from other Q codes such as QFE. The textbook definition of QNH is the observed pressure at an aerodrome elevation, corrected for temperature and reduced to mean sea level. When QNH is set on an altimeter subscale, the altimeter will indicate the vertical distance relative to mean sea level. Let's say the air traffic control has instructed you to set QNH 1015. As you do, your altimeter reads 2000 feet, while 2000 feet is your altitude from you to mean sea level. From an air traffic viewpoint, QNH is used for calculating the transition level and minimum safe flying levels in the vicinity of an airfield. It can also be used as a landing datum. If you were to land using QNH, when safely on the runway, your altimeter will read the aerodrome's elevation. This may be 260 feet, for example. This is because it's still giving you the distance or altitude from yourself to mean sea level. If you were to remain in the same position, and change your altimeter to the aerodrome's QFE, your altimeter would now read zero, as it now gives you the distance or height from you to the runway. This is how QNH and QFE differ. Understanding QNH is essential to flying, but there is still so much more to learn. You wouldn't want to use an aerodrome's QNH for en route flying, as this could become catastrophic. So, what do you use instead? Well, you really need to watch this next video to fully understand what it means when air traffic control asks you to set an RPS.